the end of the Wagyu Trail. I can't encourage a carnivore to come to Japan enough. The level of dedication towards Wagyu is so apparent in every aspect, from the farm, to the olive fields, to the supermarkets, to the butchers, and then finally to this incredible omakase Wagyu experience. Oh, here we go, the tongue. Let me hold my tongue while we cut the tongue. If you took a piece of American tongue and did this to it, it would probably be a, basically a rubber ball. It's really hard to find this quality tongue for him too. Well, when he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it. And if he can't find it, he won't compromise. Yeah, I understand why. I mean, tongue, what you see in the U.S., you can't just eat this way. It's what he's really going for is, is not only the even bronzing of the outside, but he also wants it to be texturally the same yeah. in every yeah. point. That's dedication. That does not look like tongue. That looks like a piece of steak. It tastes like a piece of steak. In Japan, the tongue is as good as a T-bone. He's cooking that a lot slower, it looks like. It's off to the edge. Yeah, it's just rendering the fat. Exactly. That's sensational. It's almost a texture of liver in the US. I can't believe how tender it is. He's managed to sort of render it slightly, just enough to like yeah. soften it up. It's the bottom of the ear. I don't think I've ever had bottom of ear before. The way we butcher things in the States, the head, it doesn't see past the slaughterhouse floor. You see the cheek is really the only, and the right. tongue are right. the only things you see. Right. Mm. That is beef. With that salty punch. Well, that is like American dry-aged ribeye flavor, right? It's not dry-aged, but it has that like that strong, yeah, meaty. That beefy. Mm -hmm. What I love about this is that like, you sort of see the next course is coming there. They're sort of marinating and pickling and brining and doing what else he does. At the same time, there's always something to uh, sort of engage you. Sweet bread is really, it's the thalamus gland. Well, there's also one around the heart. Yeah. Sweet bread is normally delicate and, you know, very kind of almost like creamy. This, this, was, this was a beefy. slow, full cook, which is different than the so way it's good. usually treated in the U.S. So good. When you roast a whole prime rib, and when you cook it correctly, you get that really nice, crusty outside brown, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what that tastes like. Yeah. That may have been the best bite we've had so far. Yeah. Look at the marbling on that. That is insanity. So you're supposed to eat like this, so that the low part, like low side, really touches your mouth. The inside is the grill part. Hands down, the finest ghost steak I've ever eaten. This is an epic meal, folks. Epic. Now, oxtail is another thing that you wouldn't normally see over a grill. grill. Absolutely <laughs> not. So far, I'd say about half of the things we've eaten so far are things that traditionally in America would never just go on the grill. Yeah. It's so expectation-defying because he's cooking everything wrong, yet it comes out so tender and it comes out so live. We have a wasabi soy sauce marinated filet. Funny that the filet is sort of the least interesting thing we've eaten, right? Definitely. The instruction is you eat the pepper first, then you take a bite of the steak. Or take the whole steak. It's so interesting how the pepper hits you at first, then you put the meat in. Then you get that profoundly beefy flavor, the, the rush of fat, the rush of salt. But then the heat of the pepper comes on at the end. It comes back, it comes really back interesting. again. Really interesting. Sort of these undulations of flavor. This is a piece of filet mignon that has way more flavor than most filet mignon I've ever eaten. I, there's nothing in my experience as a carnival that even touches this in terms of skill and technique and like just using unorthodox technique and using things that you don't think would work like searing oxtail, yeah, right? Yeah. And serving like huge chunks of like rare liver and it's just, everything just worked. It was so sensational. Chef. Thank you. I'm sure I speak for all, for all of us. This was a seminal, seminal meal. It was absolutely wonderful. Gato, can't wait to come back. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is incredibly flavorful. It's definitely, you can tell the chi there's chicken in there, but you, the finish is definitely beef. I mean, it's like, it's meaty.